Chiefs, Ravens, you know, enough is enough. We've seen, uh, we, we, we've heard it all. Um, and now it's time to prove it, to, to put it on the field, see it win 2024, who's the better squad to start the season out. And, J.D., you know, there's there's a lot of guys going into this game. I know a lot of Ravens fans are saying, now that we have Derrick Henry, you know, we're going to do what we, what, we, what we stop doing in the AFC Championship game, which is not run the ball. They're going to run the ball down our throats tomorrow. And obviously that begs the question, how, what, what is the key to the victory for our defense? And what is the key to victory for our offense? So, J.D., what are some things that need to happen in order for the Chiefs to secure a win tomorrow night in your view? Well, you know, it, it's it, it it's going to boil down to the trenches. Okay, we we we've we discussed this over and over again. Uh, that without a doubt, we have some very exciting quarterbacks of what they do. Okay, the best in Patrick Mahomes, uh, probably ever in the NFL, uh, leading the charge to beat the Ravens. Uh, and so for them, everything runs through through. Through Patrick, their thing is to stop him as much as possible. Try to create, you know, mismatches on our offensive line, right? Probably blitz Patrick. And so they do a good job of coming from different places, making counts. If guys are on, on point, you know, just make sure you're pointing everybody out uh, and just letting, letting everybody know what the adjustments are. Because we have, we have a very young left tackle, okay, which who's only played a quarter. So for them, they're thinking if we bring pressure, right, to the tackles or the interior, uh, that's what they're going to be able to do. And so they'll bring it off the edge. They'll bring it from slot. They'll bring it from corner. We, I've seen double corner blitz from them before. Uh, and so they do a lot of different things. They, they, they have a lot of creative things they do defensively. Uh, and so they have a good front up as well, good linebackers. So that's going to be a challenge for us up front uh, on the offensive line because they know what? Okay, Jawan Taylor's just getting back from his injury, okay? He was hurt. Not only did he have an injury, but also, too, Jawan Taylor was the leading penalty guy in the league last year, okay? And so what do they say? The same thing that Bosa said, oh, they hold, oh, they hold, ref. They go, I guarantee they're crying it out before we even start the game. Watch the Chiefs. They're going to hold every single time, every single play. Just watch them. Okay? Same thing. They're going to go after, like I said, King Suma. They're going to try to try him. Hey, this guy's a rookie. He hasn't seen enough. Man, he's coming for BYU. Who, who are they actually playing? Okay? He's only played one quarter. Now they're going ahead and crowning him and saying he's the best tackle. He's a tackle of the future, but he's never been tested. So they're going to test him. They're going to test him. Now, obviously, our, our, our bread and butter, our anchor, okay, our fortitude is on the inside, all right? Tooney, Creed, okay, and, uh, and, and Trey, those three guys are going to handle all the business. And those three up front right there has got to talk and help everybody else outside. Now, same thing, pass rush. Our running back's got to do a great job of stopping that charge. So the other day we was talking about the linebacker coming on was like, oh, well, we know we just we hope we get them one dimensional. So they're going to try to stop the run, stop the run, let them pass. If they pass, we're going to blitz. So we're going to do try not to give him enough time to throw the football. Don't let him get nice and comfortable in the pocket. We're going to make sure we're going to try to shut all that down. We don't have our uh, Jared McKinnon back. They're going to test our running backs to see if they can hit somebody in the mouth. That's what they're going to see. So we'll be fine with that. now. Here's the thing. If they miss any part of that, any part of not getting to Patrick Mahomes, okay, uh, he's going to torture him. And he's going to torture him worse than he did when he was up there in Baltimore. Because he got a great receiving core, obviously, and worthy. Rasheed Rice, Travis Kelsey. Uh, I throw in Noah Gray, Jared Wiley. I throw in McCole Hardman. We're going to throw in Sky Moore. Uh, Justin Watson, and Juju Smith-Suster, who just came here. And there's a lot of things we can do. Now, we have people to throw to. We got speed to throw to. We got legitimate receivers that we're going to throw to. Our receiving core is better than their receiver core. When I sit there and look at their receiver core, we know, hey, look, okay, yeah, they got Bateman out there, right? 
They got Flowers out there that can throw. They got Andrews on those guys. But I think our defense is going to do a good job against those guys. Okay? But just on the offensive way, how we go ahead and dispel everything that they try to do against us, all right, we got to make sure we hold up up front and we hit these guys in the mouth. I mean, this one I'm talking about, establish yourself early, Marcus. I mean, this is setting the tone. And I'm telling you, man, there's going to be some heads cracking tomorrow. Guys are laying it all out there, okay? Because both teams want it. They do. They want to set and establish themselves right now. We are the standard. Make no mistake about it. The Chiefs are the standard here. And that's what we're going to make sure we get those things done. So that's one thing offensively we're going to try to do to go against their defense. Now I'll go ahead and talk. I'll let you say what you want to say about that, then I'll, I'll switch it around. No, I think it's a – because if you look at – I know everyone's making a big to-do about the fact they don't have the same defensive coordinator. The Ravens, you know, they're going to move from their inside backers. But I think it's you're scrapping that same game plan that you had against us because, I mean, it's – like you, like you said, our weapons are far and away better than what we had when we played them seven months ago, and that's without Hollywood Brown. You have Worthy. You have a second-year Rasheed Rice. Um, you have Pacheco an, another year, and I don't know – I think he's having a tremendous year this year, being kind of a, a full-on three-down back, especially without CEH there and, you know, P. Ryan only being there for a week. Um, so, yeah, there, there's a lot more elements to this offense. Yes, obviously the biggest question mark for us, every team's got a question mark on one of the season, you know. Yeah. Ours, ours is left tackle and cornerback number two. Those are those For me, those are the two biggest question marks I have going to the game tomorrow night. And we're going to see if King Suma is that guy, is the franchise left tackle that a lot of people are saying that. And, and like you said, we don't know. We, we have no we idea. Know. We have a couple of plays here and there that he looked good in that Lions game. Like, yep, look, look, look at him. Look, 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 he looks so fast, quick on his feet and agile. We don't know. Um, so that's going to be the big thing. And and if he if he looks good, then it's going to allow us, Mahomes, to get the ball into his playmakers and do their damage against uh, Baltimore tomorrow. So, yeah, I would say the, um, the, the, the big key for us is looking at King Suma and seeing if he can, uh, you know, look like he looked in the quarter and a half that he played during the preseason. <laughs> Absolutely. No question about it. And, and and I think he'll do a good job. You know, they got some really good, like I said, some defensive ends, defensive tackles. They're going to do some twists. Uh, they're going to do some blitzes. And, and obviously we haven't really seen a whole lot of that. Okay. We may see it on, on, on the look from practice uh, from Spags, but then, you know, the things that they would throw out there, but they own, uh, you know, swing on things, then, then it's, it's going to be a different look. And this is what you get the first game of the season, just seeing what everybody is. Uh, but I think we're going to win that battle. I think we're going to be fine up front. And I can't wait to see him play. I really can't. Uh, because we, we'll know immediately. And, I, and, and look, he is the tackle of the future, okay? So let me make that plain. He is the tackle of the future for us. No doubt about it. I think you have a good game. I really do. He seems poised. He's got good feet. He's very athletic. Uh, if he's stout and don't give up too much, he'll be fine. As long as he stays, you know, relation to the defensive end and the twist, if he's holding in to make sure Tooney's got him on the inside, which Tooney will do, uh, he'll be fine. He just got to remember kick, step, be patient. Kick, step, be patient, okay? And when you go punch but still move your feet, punch, still move your feet while you're doing it. And so anytime that you're sitting over there at tackle, and you punch, and then all of a sudden you just set your feet. That's what it, the defensive end. I mean, you're going backwards, they're going forward. Uh, those guys uh, will try to, you know, do the arm rip to get around. Either way, so it's going to be a good challenge, though. He'll be all right. He's going to be. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Now, let's talk about our defense. We've had some concerns. We talked about it here at Chief Concerns, okay, for a few things. One was our D-tackle, okay, our interior line. We talked about our pass rush. It was another concern. Because uh, during the preseason, and we granted guys was in there for a little time, and we had, you know, guys that's going to play uh, significantly uh, that stayed in for a long time. Uh, and there was still something left to be desired. Number one, stopping the run. Number two, generating pass rush. So that's going to be a big thing on our plate. We have got to do those two things if we want to win. A, stop the run, and two, generate pressure and pass rush. We have to do that. 
And it starts up front. When I say that everything's going to be won in the trenches, that's what I mean. Now, we got the guys. Chris Jones is back. He is back. This is his first game back. No preseason game. Nandi is back. Been getting him back uh, into the swing of things. Uh, our guys are going to play. We've got a new guy in Cam. Cam is here to help us out. Uh, we watch uh, Kolopkis. We watch his growth. These past couple of years, man, I think he's ready. I think he's starting to figure these things out right now that he's going to be a significant guy tomorrow on the game. And I'm telling you, man, he's he's going to be ready. He's going to have a good game. I say Kolopkis is going to have at least two sacks. This is me right here. At least two for this game. All right? So you, you heard it here first. J.D., who won a Kolopkis in the draft, I said Kolopkis is going to have two sacks. Okay? At least tomorrow. All right? So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I do believe because of what he brings to the table, he's going to have at least two. You know why? Because, hey, Lamar's going to try to dance around. He's going to get up. What did George do? He has that, that motor that doesn't stop. He'll fall into a couple, and he'll keep coming. And I love it because he's relentless in what he does. He's absolutely relentless. So, you know, Lamar, he'll, he'll stake around for a little bit, but I think Kalapas is going to get in there for it, man. So we'll see. But I, I do believe somehow I just thought he's going to have a great game. I just believe that. Uh, and so the other guys on the other side, Dannon, King Felix, we got to find out what those guys are going to do, okay? Now, saying that, let's go to the linebacker core. I think a linebacker core is as, 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 as tight as ever. I think they're just a good group of guys that we can depend on. Uh, Bolton's going to be back. Uh, we got Tranquil. We got Chanel. Uh, and we got the guys that's backing them up. Those guys are going to be ready. And so I don't worry about the second level at all. Now, when we start getting to the secondary, right, and we got the guys in support, our safeties. Welcome back, Brian Cook. Welcome back, brother. Be good to see you. Welcome back, Reed. We hopefully get in and get all the everything he needs again. Okay, he still got to get in a little shape, but we got a good some guys in there that can play. Connors and those guys, right? Come on, go, 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 go. Yes. That's a first down. It's a first down. It's a first down. This football season, I'll be putting down normal sodas like Coca Cola for Olipop. Olipop offers a healthier alternative with its low sugar content and natural ingredients. Olipop is more than just a drink. It's a wellness companion that supports your digestive health. Packed with prebiotics, this fizzy elixir helps promote good bacteria in your gut, leading to improved digestion and overall well-being. So go ahead, click the link in the description and use promo code SODALOVE and get your can of Olipop so you can enjoy the game Guilt free. Go Chiefs. Use the promo code Soda Love for 15% off now. So that's going to be good. Now, the question is, and you brought this up, is our secondary. Not our secondary, but our, our, our corners. Okay. McDuffie won the best in the game. All right. One of the best in the game. Shout out, man, to Patrick uh, Sertan II for getting his his uh, his signing. Pat is on, on one of uh, the shout, you know, on on our with things with with us, man. So we congratulated him and his family. Good for him. He's one of the good uh, corners out there for sure. Uh, so shout out to him. Just saying, congratulations. But <laughs> we got our guy McDuffie. McDuffie, when we get into man, he's going to be the guy that's going to travel. He's going to be the guy, if we're thinking about it, I would put him on the Zay Flowers. I would. Okay. Rashad Bateman, I think that second corner could get him. Now, they're looking for big things, right? They they gave him a little bit. They trust him. They keep talking about him. Uh, I think our guys who's going to be out there as a second corner, they're going to stand up. I think they're going to have a good game. It's going to be better than what we expected. And I think, Marcus, this game right here, whoever plays the best when they come in is going to be the one that's going to start, I think, for the regular season. I think they're going to go with. 
That's it. That's how I feel. And I think this game right here is going to do a telltale sign of who that guy is, who wants it more. Okay. This is, this is a good matchup. First game. This is a good one right here. Uh, He's going to be throwing the football, man. Lamar's going to be throwing the football. He's going to be running. But you best believe one thing he's going to be doing now more than he did last year, he's going to be handing that ball off to Big Henry. He, he, that's what he's going to be doing. That's exactly what he's going to be doing. Okay? So, oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. They got another superstar in the building that we can punch and hit and smash and fold up. Okay? Leave Tennessee, come up here to the Ravens, going to come get some more of that work too, huh? Hey, how about it, King Henry? We come hit you in the mouth. You know what it felt like when you was at Tennessee. Same old Chiefs. So when you come and walking in the stadium, man, you're going to be looking around like, this don't feel no different. <laughs> <laughs> this don't feel any different. I was at, hey, I was getting handled when I was with Tennessee, and I was still getting handled. I can almost see him in the locker room turning over tables like, what are y'all doing? Come on. Somebody block up front. So, yeah, that, that uh, old line that he has right now in Baltimore, which usually Baltimore's got a really stout old line, but it's a very makeshift so far. For, for, for Baltimore standards, it's a makeshift old line in their standards. And this is what, what this line they have right now, especially the right side, this looks a lot like the Tennessee old line he's had the last few years in Tennessee. So I'm sure it's not what he was hoping for in Baltimore, but um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. And JD, I, I, I agree with you in the fact that whoever stands out in this game is going to be the guy they go to as the, as the, as the second cornerback. Yeah. Um, I hope that's the case. Cause I don't want to be sitting here after the game tomorrow talking about, man, what do we do? Cause none of those guys look good. Like everyone who rotated in didn't look good. We're going to go to, do we have to go pick up somebody? I, I just don't want to get the whole conversation because then it becomes a whole like, Oh, they need to go get this guy now. So I'm hoping either Nazi Joshua, um, I want those two step up. Really, I, or yeah. Watson, um, who's hopefully got some wind back in his uh, sails again after uh, playing through that that last preseason game, which he looked uh, exhausted. <laughs> Look, unless those guys are getting torched like severely, I don't think anything like that would happen. Okay, and, and like I said, what's good is because we do have depth at that position, right? We have Nazi, like you said, out there. Okay, we got Watson. Okay. Uh, and we got a uh, why I did like Joshua, Joshua Williams. Okay, and so I think those guys work well together. I think those guys understand like, hey man, look, if you ain't got it, I get it. And Spaz could he could bring guys in, he could keep it fresh, right? He could keep it fresh out there. So we're gonna be fine in that regard. We're gonna be absolutely fine. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are going to get, be able to get behind our secondary. We got guys that can run back there. They do a great job putting their hands on people, uh, understanding the scheme of where they need to be. So our thing is what we want to do, we want to make sure we stop the run. So we put Lamar and those guys being third and long. Okay. That's what we want to do. That's what you have to do. Get them in third down, third and long, and let the crowd in Kansas City absolutely wear these jokers out. Let them wear them out, okay? See, and, and that's another element. That's another one. When they talk about going into stadiums and having a home field advantage, if you've never played, if you've never been in Arrowhead, this is going to be your first time. This is going to be some of these guys' first time, Marcus, Okay? They're going to get a rude awakening. When they come in, they don't see all the, the smoke around. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, when they go through all of the chants and the, the, the time of hawk and uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, when they go do all of that, smoke comes out, and then you see Travis doing his little thing, shooting the air on the air. And Patrick going ahead doing his bowling up. and all, Oh, my God. It's going to be some wide-eyed jokers with saucers. I'm, I'm talking about wide-eyed saucers like, hey, man, are you okay? Like, snap out of it. Like, we here, okay? Yeah, ain't, ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back. It's going to be some shaky knees. I'm telling you on that sideline with Baltimore. Some absolutely shaky knees. 
And I'm telling you, that crowd in Arrowhead is so intimidating to teams. Listen to all these former players, okay, that these analysts is talking. Just listen to what they talk about Arrowhead, what it's been over the years, about going into Arrowhead Stadium, GHA, and what that feels like, being behind enemy lines and not being able to be comfortable. I don't think I've seen any team to come in and just like, oh, we got it, we're going to be comfortable. Absolutely not. Not one team that said that. The one team that thought they was the, they was the ones was when they came in and started trying to get all over uh, the, the arrowhead in the middle of the field and stuff like that. We sent them Raiders packing. We sent them Jokers packing. We had to get some payback for that too. So don't even try it. I just, they just need to understand what it's going to be tomorrow, okay? So uh, it's going to be a nightmare for some of these guys. We're talking about guys that are going to be uh, losing sleep because they're anxious. Some of these guys are going to be losing sleep because they're scared. It's going to be it's going to be a little shudder, you know, and some backbones. <laughs> it's going to be a little shudder, baby. I'm telling you. I'm just so excited, man. I I'm, I'm look, I, man. I just I'm just so excited right now. I'm sorry, man. I got to I got to calm down. Got to calm listen, down. The way it's supposed to be, JD, going into uh, the, the next season for a 3P, man. Um uh, this is a question I got uh on one of our videos yesterday just about the defense. And I've seen some people talk about it in the chat a little bit, but the the spy on um, Lamar and one of the guys we had doing that a lot was Willie Gay, and Willie Gay, one of the most athletic linebackers in the league. Who do you think is going to take on that role of being the spy on Lamar? Um, because I mean, I think some, I think some people in the chat said Drew Tranquil, but like, I don't. For me, that's. I mean, I don't think I would like that. Uh, honestly, I, I I prefer like having Connor or a DB doing uh, being a spy for Lamar. Uh, Drew could do it. Drew, Drew could do a good job. He's a linebacker that can run. Uh, his thing is, if he's able to go free, he can flow. He'll, he'll, he'll be able to flow and spill guys uh, back inside. I think they'll try to keep him in the box, which would be the best thing to possibly do, and then show up like all the gaps that you that you you possibly can. Okay? Uh, and so you just got to anchor. These guys got to walk their guys back. The good thing about this is, Spaz gonna bring some. He's gonna bring some noise. He's gonna bring some noise, and so that right side of the line, I see people talking about it. These are young guys, okay? So Kalafkis, Chris Jones, you know, Drews over on that side. They they coming. <laughs> they are coming. And and Lamar likes running to his right. Okay, he's right hand dominant. He likes running to his right. He feels a little bit. He has to go left. Okay, spill him out their way. Then you bring the safety down if, if you need to. Okay. I guys will be able to hold up. I'm not. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm not worried about that at all. Like I said, they're going to try to give it to uh, to Henry. They're going. They're going to try to make sure. Look, we kept hearing we didn't run the football like we should have last year. We didn't. We got out of our game plan. And I, okay, that's the reason they brought that big joker here, man. That's the reason they got that big locomotive there, so he can run the football. Now. Make no mistake about it, we understand how dangerous Lamar is running the football with that as well, right? But if 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 you do do a spy, and I agree with you, I think you do have to have somebody like Connor or somebody who is fast if you're doing it right, if you bring nickel, if you bring in um, uh, one of those packages. But Drew Tranquil could do a good job of that. He'll do a good job. Uh, and in, in matter of fact, I think he chased him in the uh, pre in the in the playoff game. He, he had one, made him kind of run around and get back. And Drew's a lot faster than what people think, but that's his forte. He's a fast guy. He's good at flowing, and so uh, I don't mind it at all, especially when you got him, you know, corralled up, right? And so that's what it is, man. You you gotta you gotta cut the field down for Lamar. You just can't give him openings where he needs to. You just can't do it. So I think you know doing a spy is a great thing. That's that, that's the way you have to go. So, I uh, got a contribution from John Clifford. Much enjoyed. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you always with your uh, solid comments in the chat, man. Oh, John Clifford, <laughs> my guy. Hey, brother. Hey, I'm loving it too. I'm loving it too. I, you know what I said? I'm about to give one of the JD speeches. Okay, <laughs> my but my little uh, my coach's speech. That's why I'm going to start bringing out a little bit more of that. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. 
Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.